Hi and welcome to today's session on angle properties. Now, when we are looking at, looking at angles, we've got to bear in mind that they can only be created when we've got two lines, line segments, which are intersecting. So they're either meeting or they are crossing. But when we're talking about intersecting lines, two lines which will never ever intersect are what we call parallel lines. Now, some, uh, some of you may, uh, may have been told to, when you think of parallel lines, think of train tracks. That, that's a good, a good notion. Um, if you uh, look, uh, look around and uh, look at uh, doors, tables, um, those have got parallel lines which, are, which actually create, uh, create the shapes. They are lines which will never, ever cross. And they're parallel, which is denoted by these, uh, these arrows. I've used a keyword here, they remain equidistant. So they remain equal distance. We will be talking about equidistant a bit more when, uh, when we look at um, loci and when we look at construction. So a type of line that will always intersect is a perpendicular line. Of course, if the lines aren't parallel, at some point they will always intersect but uh, ones uh, ones that do intersect are a perpendicular line this is because they actually cross at 90 degree angles they cross at right angles and just uh, just denoting that so perpendicular lines there is a is a lot of uses for perpendicular lines they can be used to show the shortest distance between points so here i've got a point and here i've got a line and i could have a question asking what is could i uh, could i please uh, mark along this line the shortest point from this line to this point in which case i've just uh, just created a um, a few ray lines coming out coming away and i'll just gonna give you a little moment to try and uh, try and decide which one of these would be the shortest distance but if we take a take a look at this, it's actually this point, this red line just here. That's because it is a 90 degree angle and it's perpendicular. And this will be the shortest point. But again, something that we'll look, uh, look at a bit uh, when we look at construction. You can create perpendicular lines, as you're probably very much aware of, using uh, normal set, uh, geometry sets. You could use a protractor for this. Or you could uh, could use something such as your um, set squares to create uh, create this. So here I've got a straight line. Here I've got a perpendicular line. As you saw, it's created by a set square, and this creates a right angle, 90 degree angle, which is perpendicular to this uh, baseline. But uh, we'll be looking at uh, how to actually create these using on the straighter straight edges and um, pencil and a compass when we look at construction. So we've uh, got uh, these uh, these two forms of different uh, different angles, which are worth actually making a uh, making a little note of. So here we've got angles A, B, C on a straight line. All angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So straight line angles 180 degrees. Worth knowing because we could actually use this if we're trying to prove an angle is what we're saying it is. Exactly the same for this, we've got angles around the points, which add up to 360 degrees. So here, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D would give me 360 degrees. If I had these three angles, I could work out what angle D is from that by subtracting these away from 360 degrees. Two other different types of uh, types of angles that we could, uh, could be made aware of, we've got our complementary angles so this is when we're talking about right angles and we've got a angle coming uh, coming away from this these are complementary both these two add, um, angles add up to 90 degrees and we've got our supplementary angles which is on a straight line these two angles add up together to give me 180 degrees if you like what you see please subscribe thank you very much for watching